So at Western States Metal Roofing, we've always carried fiberglass panels to match our exposed fastener panels that, that we carry. Recently, we've switched over to a polycarbonate panel. What we decided to do is get an expert and uh, do a video that explains the difference between a polycarbonate and a fiberglass skylight. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying factory direct. Chad, um, I'd like to talk to you about the differences between a fiberglass skylight panel and a polycarbonate skylight panel. Fiberglass has been around for over 60 years. Uh, that was probably, you know, the original skylight or, you know, side light or translucent panel. Um, the fiberglass panel, it's a plastic panel that gets its structural integrity from fibers. The polycarbonate is it does not require those glass fibers to achieve a structural integrity of the panel. Are the fibers problematic? What's what's the issue with the fibers? What happens with fiberglass panels over the years, the, the fibers that are embedded in the panel will tend to blue, and that means they're separating from the panel. So when you go to rub your hand over the top of a fiberglass panel after a few years, it's almost like you feel hairs those hairs that's the actual fiberglass or the the uh the glass hairs that are that uh, they're separating from the panel that's what's called fiber blue and what happens is dirt dust debris will actually get stuck up inside those hairs and and then that's where you see if you look up at a panel you'll notice that it, it, there's it, it almost looks like there's dark splotches in the panel. Right, so not only is that gonna look tacky when you're looking up above it, that, that'll that actually decrease the amount of light that's gonna come through, Bingo. correct? That's exactly right. I mean, yeah, no light is gonna get, uh, is gonna penetrate through uh, the accumulation of dirt and dust and grime and things like that. So even in a perfect world, when the fiberglass hasn't yellowed or developed some of these other issues, what has better light transmission, a fiberglass panel or a, uh, or a poly panel? So with the uh, fiberglass panel, typically you're going to get about 30 to 35% light transmission. And that's, you know, normally what you're going to expect from a fiberglass panel. With a polycarbonate panel, you've got three different options. You've got a clear panel, which allows 90% light transmission. Then you have what I call our soft white panel, uh, it allows 85% light transmission. But in addition to that 85% light transmission, you also get 100% diffusion of the light. And then a third color is a, a, a standard white panel that we manufacture as well in polycarbonate. And that panel is, we made that panel uh, with the idea that you're going to get 45% light transmission with that panel. And that kind of mirrors what people were typically used to with the fiberglass panels. There's one other point that I'd really like to make about the polycarbonate versus fiberglass when it comes to uh, uh, daylighting. With a fiberglass panel, the extrusions tend to be a lot more rounded on fiberglass panels. So you don't get a very precise match with the metal panels with a fiberglass panel. Oh, right, right, right. Because those they can't make sharp turns with the uh, with the extrusion process, so those those extrusions, those peaks and valleys tend to be a lot more rounded. Whereas with polycarbonate, we can make all those sharp turns when we extrude the panel, so that the panel actually matches the the profile with more precision than you can get with a with a fiberglass panel. So it's it's going to be less likely to leak as a result of this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so the, the question everybody asks, how much does it cost? And is there a difference between the cost of fiberglass and the cost of poly? So what we found is there's very little difference in the cost between uh, fiberglass and poly. With fiberglass, there's some additional products that go into that, being the fibers mostly that they use. And that's a volatile priced product. So the price on fiberglass tends to fluctuate a lot more than polycarbonate. Polycarbonate's a lot more stable. You know, the biggest difference is the life of the panel. 
typically what we see with fiberglass is that you start to lose light transmission value drastically after three years the panel being up for three years. With our polycarbonate, our SunSky panels, we actually have a warranty that we offer for the panels. And what that warranty states is that you're going to get a limited warranty due to loss of light over a 10-year period. I am not familiar anymore with uh, any fiberglass manufacturer that is warranting their panels. At Western States Metal Roofing, we inventory skylight panels. We have them immediately available in all four of our locations, and we can ship them anywhere throughout the country. 